is this the best tequila brand out there? Yes. Yes, it is. It's rich in history. It's made in the traditional ancestral way. It is 100% additive free, and it is by far one of the most delicious things I've ever put in my mouth. Hey, yo. But you might be thinking, well, Louie, that's just your own opinion. And while that's true, I think that Fortaleza makes a very strong case for itself as being not only one of the best tequilas on the market, but one of the most important tequilas on the market right now. It is one of the most well-regarded and respected brands of tequila by both bartenders and tequila drinkers alike. So what makes it so special? While the brand Fortaleza itself has only been around since 2005, the history of this tequila making family stretches back 125 years. In 1873, Don Sinobio Sauza opened his first distillery in the town of Tequila in Jalisco. And there he created the famous brand that still bears his name, Sauza. Yes, that Sauza. But wait, Louis, I thought we were talking about Fortaleza. Well, we are, and we're gonna get there. And for generations from 1873 on, the Sauza family distilled tequila and the distillery would go from father to son, from father to son for many, many generations. But it's not just so much the fact that they've been around for 125 years. There's plenty of tequila producers that have been around for a long time and history itself doesn't make it special on its own. But the Salsa family didn't just make tequila. No, they actually shaped the very nature of what tequila is today. Don Sinobio was the first person to export mezcal de tequila to the United States, which then got shortened to tequila. He was also the first person to use steam ovens to cook the agave. And he also stated that Blue Weber agave was the best agave to use when making tequila. Don Sinobio's son, Don Eladio, took over the Salsa family business and he started to export tequila to the world. And during the Mexican Revolution, Don Eladio helped establish tequila as the national drink of Mexico. And Don Eladio's son, Don Javier, who took over when his father passed, brought even more changes to the tequila industry. He not only made the Salsa family tequila one of the most famous in the world, he was also one of the driving forces that created a denomination of origin for tequila. But then in 1976, Don Javier sold the Sauza family brand, shocking everyone, including his grandson, Guillermo. But despite selling the Sauza brand, the family kept some of their land and even one of their original distilleries called La Fortaleza. And so heartbroken that his grandfather had sold the company, Guillermo still had an intense passion for tequila and for the town of tequila itself. And so in 1999, he started to refurbish this original distillery to create what we now know of as Fortaleza. And they are now making tequila the same way that they always have been for about 125 years. Right, Louis, that's cool and all. That's a great little story. But what about the juice? Tell me about what's in the bottles, man. Like I said earlier, Fortaleza is certified 100% additive free and they use every, all of their methods of making their agave are ancestral and traditional. In other words, they are they're making tequila the way that it should be made, the way that it's been made for a very long time. And their attention to detail is astounding. These bottle toppers are made in their distillery by hand, each and every single one of them. So their attention to detail translates across into their spirits and you can really taste it. Currently, Fortaleza has four main expressions. They have their Blanco, their Reposado, their Añejo, and their Still Strength. Each one has a slight variation in its flavor and taste, so let's go through them and see what I think of each one. On the nose, you get that delicious uh, agave smell. It doesn't smell overly sweet. It's very, very clean. You really get the prominent notes of the agave. It doesn't feel like it's hiding behind any other flavor. It's just what tequila really should be at the end of the day, and it's really well made. Next up is the Reposado. It gives you those awesome characteristics from the barrel without masking the flavor of the actual tequila itself. So it still tastes a lot like the Blanco in a lot of senses. And it just gives you that touch of oaky flavor from the barrel. You get a really great blend of two awesome flavors there and it's very smooth, easy to sip, but it would be great in a cocktail as well. Trust me, I've had plenty with it. And now for quite possibly my favorite tequila I've ever drank in my entire life, the Añejo. Ah, oh, that's so, so, so good. 
You get that great oaky flavor from the barrel. It's smooth and almost caramel-like without, but there's no like uh, fake sugar or fake sweet or fake vanilla flavoring. It just tastes like it sat in a beautiful barrel and got some of that natural wood flavor. It's just a incredible sipper, really, really, really tasty, and it's just so delicious. I really can't, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna have to keep drinking this. I'll talk, <laughs> give me a minute. A lot of times when people think about the best tequila, they think of like ultra premium brands like Don Julio 1942 or any other thing, any other crazy thing that Don Julio is, is coming up with at the moment or something like Clase Azul. But if you put this up against this, you, there's just no comparison. There's no comparison. The Fortaleza Añejo is, it is just one third of the price of Don Julio 1942, yet it is 10 times the tequila. And some of you who know tequila and everything, but they don't even belong in the same class. And you're right. I'm just saying that some people look at super expensive tequila and expect this to be amazing, but for one third of the price, you can buy this, and I promise you, you'll enjoy yourself way better with a bottle of Fortaleza than you will with Don Julio 1942. And last but not least, it is their Still Strength. It is a bottle that I actually just tried recently for the first time, and it absolutely blew me away. Traditionally, when spirits come off of the still, they will cut it with water to get it to a specified uh, ABV or alcohol uh, by volume. For example, the Blanco uh, is bottled at 40% ABV, makes it easier to drink, makes it easier on the palate, but the still strength, it just comes off straight off the still at 46% and they bottle it. You get a lot more of that raw flavor from the tequila. It tastes more like the agave, it's that more natural flavor because this is what was truly distilled and it wasn't diluted with water. Of course, it is a higher ABV, so it's a little bit tougher, but this is incredible in a cocktail. It stands up even better. And in a margarita, it is stupidly delicious. Mm. Beautifully complex example of just their craftsmanship and how well they make spirits that they, this is just the natural thing that comes off the still and it's this delicious. So is Fortaleza the best tequila on the market? Well, truthfully, it is an impossible question to answer. It, that's very subjective, but to me, it really is. It's the best one that I've ever tasted. Their story is super significant, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy and drink other tequila. But if you actually wanna see what other brands I do enjoy drinking, I have a video right over here that you can check out. But if you'll excuse me, I have some incredible tequila to get back to drinking, and I'll catch you in the next one.